Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with your first turkey. That's right, a completely technique-free turkey procedure for beginners and first-timers. And even though this procedure is pretty much technique-free and ultra-simple, it still guarantees you a magazine cover quality bird every time. So here we go. All right, I want you to take a large roasting pan or baking dish big enough to fit your turkey. And then the bottom, you're going to lay in one sliced up onion, one sliced up carrot, and one chopped up rib of celery. Just put it in the bottom. That's it. You're going to take your turkey and unwrap it, rinse it off. You see the paper towels? I want you to pat it nice and dry inside and out. Now, we're not going to mess around with any of the innards. This is just about roasting a turkey. So I cut off the tail. Sometimes that's cut off for you. It's just mostly fat. And then take out the bag of gizzards and the neck. And of course, don't throw that away. You can check out our video about making gravy. But this video is not about that. This is just about the bird. All right, step one here. I'm going to take my seasoning mix. That'll be on the blog post. Basically just salt and pepper. And we're going to generously season the inside cavity. Okay, I guess that's redundant. There's no outside cavities. All right, so you're going to season the inside, and then I'm really going to have to have you do this for sure. There is nothing more grotesque and disturbing in the culinary world than those burnt turkey wingtips sticking up in the air. God, I hate those. So please fold your wings underneath like this. It will look better, it will sit flatter, and I personally will feel a lot better. All right. So our turkey is pretty much ready for the final steps. I'm going to have you melt a couple tablespoons of butter in a small saute pan. All right, use medium heat. And when the edges just start to turn golden, you see just a little color around the outside. Then you're going to toss in a handful of sage and rosemary leaves. All right, once the herbs get tossed in, I want you to cook it in that hot butter for 60 seconds. No more, no less. So we're basically just making a quick and easy herb butter. All right, turn off the heat. And then with tongs, I want you just to fish out the herbs themselves. All right, they're whole, so they're easy to grab. And you're just going to stick that inside the cavity. And while the turkey roasts, that will kind of scent things from the inside out. All right, we're going to tie the legs together. Just take some butcher's string. Or you can always use dental floss. True story. All right, but just tie the legs together, just like that. Nothing fancy. All right, I'm on to my next step, which is my favorite, because I get to paint a turkey with butter. All right, come on. What part of that doesn't sound fun? So you're going to take that herb butter that we sizzled that sage and rosemary in, and we're going to paint the entire surface of the turkey, and that's really the secret to getting that amazing magazine cover look. All right, after that's covered, we're going to take our seasoning mix, our salt pepper mix, and we're going to season the outside very generously. All right, so pretty much any exposed surface should have some salt and pepper on it. All right, don't be afraid to turn it to get the sides and those little crevices. And once it's seasoned, your work is done. Pop it in a 325 degree oven and don't do anything to it. No basting, no foil, no pricking, no nothing. Just let it cook. A rule of thumb, about 15 minutes per pound approximately. But you can't go by that. Use a thermometer. I think mine is done when the middle of the thigh registers about 170 to 175 degrees. And that's it. Some books and websites are going to say 175 to 180. All right, up to you. I like it a little lower than that. So mine was about 13 and a half pounds. All right, and took about three and a half hours or so approximately. Now, all those beautiful juices underneath the turkey, you're, of course, going to pour that into your gravy or make a gravy out of that. You can check out that video if you're not sure. Now, you want to let that rest 15, 20 minutes at least. So that's perfect. You can bring all the rest of the stuff to the table, reheat your side dishes and so forth. And then listen to this. Oh, yeah. All right, that beautiful brown skin, the meat still moist and tender. Now, I'm not saying it's bad to brine and smoke and fry and do all those other tricks. No problem. You can do that if you want. I'm not against all those fancy techniques. You just don't have to do them. And if you're just starting out, forget it. Just do this simple method. And then next year, maybe you try something a little more adventurous. I mean, come on, look at that. That is a magazine cover. You did that. I cannot believe you did that. Actually, I can totally believe you did that because it's easy. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you have a great holiday. Go to foodwishes.com for all the final details and more information as usual. 
And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.